Hey, good afternoon, Leo, and welcome to your May Tarot reading. Welcome to Love and Abundance Tarot. It's great to have you here. Great to be able to connect with our Leo soul family members. We love the zodiac sign of Leo. So Leo, we have a May Tarot reading for you today. Uh, whether your sun sign is Leo or your moon or rising sign is Leo, or maybe you're just checking up on a Leo, or you could just be intuitively guided to be here. Whatever the energies were that brought you here, trust those energies. Uh, keep in mind my readings, they're not date specific. So whenever it is that you're drawn to this reading, trust that that's the time for you to be watching it. Um, it's a beautiful day outside. Today is May, it's Tuesday, May the 12th. Um, Leo, you guys are great. Uh, if you're reconnecting, you know, if you're already a subscriber, welcome back. It's great to have you here. Great to be able to connect with our soul family. Uh, or if you're new to the channel, I want to welcome you as well. It's great to have you here. I hope that the energies in today's tarot reading, that they resonate with you. So Leo, you're a beautiful zodiac sign. Uh, you love to be loved and admired. You're very warm, friendly. You love the limelight. You're kind. You have great energy. Very optimistic, right? Very outgoing. Great with people. Great at interacting and conversing and communicating. Uh, Leo, you're located in the fifth house. The fifth house is about creativity and children. The things that we give birth to and take risk on. This is where we play, fall in love, and create. And Leo, you are ruled by the sun. All right, that's just some good general information that I always like to share with our Leo so family members. Um, let's get started on your reading, Leo. So I want to begin your reading today by taking a moment to tap the crystal healing bowl, giving it a chance to sing to us. Um, this is a perfect time, right, to inhale and exhale deeply. Uh, allow yourself to step into a space and a place where you'll be open to hearing and receiving any messages that will be meant for you to hear today. Okay, Leo, it's still going on this end. It came through great on this and I hope it came through great for you guys. Okay, Leo, let's get started. So the first thing that I want to do for you is I want to pull an affirmation card for you just to see what the affirmation is today for you, taking us into your tarot reading. Leo, we're going to be looking at past, present, and future in your tarot reading today. And this will be your May reading. Keep in mind, time is fluid, right? So for some of you, this may be present energy right now. And for others, this may be energy that you just moved through or that you'll be moving into soon. We'll cut it one more time here. Okay, wow, Leo. Leo has it going on. So Leo, the affirmation taking us into your tarot reading today comes to us by way of love, right? The first of the affirmations. Number one, number one represents, a, you know, the beginning, right? So Leo, you may be, some of you may be in the process of getting ready to begin love of some sort. Aphrodite, or Aphrodite, I call to thee to bring a true love here to me. Aphrodite, I call to thee to bring a true love here to me. Aphrodite, I call to thee to bring a true love here to me. Okay, Leo, you've just pulled a great affirmation taking us into your tarot reading today. So we have love, right? Love is on the mind of Leo. Uh, some of you may be seeking love, right? Maybe looking forward to a connection of coming together. So Leo, I'm gonna do your tarot reading today with my Psychic Tarot of the Heart deck by John Holland. The energies in this deck, they're a little more relationship related, so we may very well have a love reading for you today, Leo. I mean, we're certainly off to a start, right, with love coming out as the affirmation. Okay, Leo. Showing up at the center of your tarot reading today, we have the number seven, which is awaiting results. So this is equivalent to the seven of pentacles. All right, so we have awaiting results, and then your affirmation taking us into the reading is love, right? So some of you may be in the process of, in some way, shape, or form, waiting for love, 
you know, waiting for love to come in. Maybe you've been working on a connection. Let's pull a few more cards for you, Leah. Okay, coming in next we have the throat chakra, the number five. Number five represents changes, right? Throat chakra represents the energy of I speak, right? Of speaking your truth. So Leo, some of you may have, may have spoken your truth, right? Or maybe you're getting ready to speak your truth. Coming in next for you, we have teach, which is equivalent to the energy of uh, the Hierophant, which is Taurus. So teach coming in right next to the throat chakra. Coming in next to teach, we have darkest fears, right? So we have some adversity here. Uh, darkest fears, this, this uh, is equivalent to the nine of swords in original tarot. Beautiful, Leo, coming in next, here we see your energy, right? We see Leo's energy showing itself as the sun with this shine energy. Beautiful. Okay, Leo, dreams coming true. Here we have uh, the number nine, right? So we have two nines, darkest fears and dreams coming true. I don't know, Leo. It makes me wonder, what do you have going on in your life? You know, what uh, what is it that you've been working on to manifest? It's coming out. Share the love, right? So this is equivalent to the three of cups in original Tarot. That's coming in underneath shine. And then we have Blossom, the number 20, which reduces to a two. Uh, twos are about partnerships, connections, coming in together. And then Leo, coming in next, we have Clarity of Belief, which this is equivalent to the Ace of Swords. So this is a one, so it's representing a beginning. Right? So this is the beginning for some of you. It may be, uh, it could be the beginning of love. All right, Leo. Give me just a moment here to take a look at these energies and I need to see and feel what it is they're trying to share with us. Okay. All right, Leo. Uh, I, think, I think I have it here. So showing up at the center of your reading, right? So this is standing out as pretty prominent energy in your life, right? Here we have awaiting results, right? So some of you may be awaiting, you know, waiting to hear something or waiting to hear from somebody. I'm just looking at the figure here on the card, right? And he has this tree that's growing right here in front of him. So that tree that, you know, those are seeds that needed to be planted, right? And once they were planted, those seeds needed to be nourished in order to create this growth that we have here. So I feel like Leo, whatever this is that, that you're waiting, right, to come in, I feel like you planted the seeds, right? This is this is regarding seeds that you planted in the past. Um, so you've invested, you've invested your energy on whatever this is that, that you're waiting for, you know, to come in. Uh, and no worries, Leo, we're gonna get some clarification in just a moment here. But looking across the, you know, the, the top line, you know, we're kind of moving into past energy now. So we have the throat chakra, right? Which is, this is equivalent to the energy of speaking, right? Of I speak, right? Speaking your truth. And coming in next to that, or across from that, here we have darkest fears, right? So again, moving into past energy, Leo, I feel like for whatever reason, you may have had a blockage here, you know, with your with your throat chakra, uh, as it pertains to as it pertains to to what it is you do or, or what it is you're doing, and in and in some way, shape, or form, you're teaching and sharing with others, right? So we have a fear, a fear maybe of speaking your truth, right? Just some kind of blockage here, as it pertains to to reaching out, connecting with others, and speaking your truth, right? So I don't know, maybe some of you are teachers. Uh, you know, or leaders of some sort, right? They have others looking up to you. Um, but yeah, we definitely have uh, we definitely have some fear here, and it looks like it's it's 
Yeah, it's it's fear of it's fear of speaking. It's fear of speaking your truth. Um, yeah, a fear of, of teaching others. And again, we're you know we're looking at past energy here across this top line. But Leo, I feel like I feel like you get through it, right? But I say that. Because here coming in next we have shine, which is equivalent to the energy of the sun. So this is your energy right here, right? Beautiful energy. This represents the energy of surrender, right? If I'm looking at the figure here on this card, you know, she's she's kind of standing suspended, you know, and she's holding out her arms. Notice she's not attached to anything, right? But it seems like she's open to anything, open to whatever the universe wants to bring her. So Leo. You know, maybe you are open to whatever this is, right? That many of you are waiting to come into your life. You may have worked through these fears and then arrived to this energy, right? Where, I don't know. What I'm feeling for you, Leo, right now is, is uh, a surrender. You know, you may have hit a point uh, with some of these limiting energies above, you know, where there was some kind of blockage and restriction as it as it pertained to, to words that to words that you speak, you know, to, to your ability to, to, to share with others, to connect with others. Now I feel like you've worked through that energy. And we I feel that right because of this the shine energy that's showing up for your reading. And now we're moving into, into present energy. And of course, coming in next and showing up at the center of the reading, we have awaiting results, right? So Leo waiting for something. No worries, Leo, we're gonna get some clarification here. But I feel like whatever this is that you're waiting for, it matters to you, right? This is regarding, well, for some, it could be regarding love. You know, and when, we, when I talk about love, it doesn't have to be a, a relationship, a, you know, a romantic connection. It could be a friendship. Um, it could be a new job. It could be a different, a, a, a shift in career changes or, or opportunities. Um, but whatever this is you're waiting for, you've invested energy in it, right? You put in the work. We know that you put in the work because we see that right here in awaiting results, right? With all this growth that he has. And that's his growth, right? So Leo, I feel like this is representing your energy. This is representing your energy, the, the energies that you've invested into whatever this is that you're waiting to come into your life. And for many, it's connected to your dreams, right? Dreams coming true. I don't know, Leo, it makes me kind of excited for you. Okay, coming in next, we're moving across the bottom row now. We have share the love, all right? So share the love, this is about reaching out and connecting with others. Um, you know, communicating, uh, making new friends, um, getting to know new people, uh, getting to getting to know others that you already know better, uh, but it's about it's about reaching out and sharing the love. Uh, and I feel like Leo, I feel like for you, it's it's also connected to this teach energy, uh, you know, of getting out and, and teaching and sharing with others in some way, shape, or form. But we have the blockage here, right? Working into past energy with uh, the throat chakra showing up. I'm going to take a moment in just a minute here and read to you about how we go about opening up this chakra. Okay, coming in next, Leo, we have judgment, right? So, looking at the figure here in this card, right? She has this ball of energy that's right in front of her, right? And Leo, I feel like it, that what that's representing, it's representing your energy, right? Your energy connecting with some universal energy. You're literally taking this energy, um, you, you, I feel like you're feeling it within you, and it's 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 like it's it's gaining, it's building, it's gaining, it's gaining momentum for you, right? So you're so here you are building up your energy, gaining momentum. As many of you are getting ready to step into this new beginning, right? Showing itself here with clarity of belief. So this is equivalent to the Ace of Swords. You know, swords can be um, well, swords can represent communication. Swords are, are a mental energy, right? So some of you, you may be communicating or you may have communication coming into you. We'll get some clarification here. I don't know, Leo. Looks kind of exciting. Let's, let's, uh, let's inquire some more and see what's going on here. So I'm gonna pull some clarifiers on these energies. Uh, and I'm gonna pull these clarifiers from my Crystal Vision Tarot Set by Jennifer Glasso. 
Before we do that, I want to take a moment and read to you real quickly about this heart, this, excuse me, this throat chakra. It's an important chakra for ourselves. Again, it's representing the energy of... of... So when, when we have a blockage on this particular chakra, sometimes we can be remain a little bit introverted where you know we may feel like I need to speak up I need to say something you know uh, there could be a need to speak here a need a need to speak your truth right but there's there's fear that's here right so we have the, the blockage with the throat chakra and what we're gonna do now is read about how we go about opening up the chakra okay Leo here we go Located in, in the throat area, this chakra is associated with communication, sound, creativity, and the ability of clairaudience, inner hearing. Many artists, speakers, writers, singers, and others in the creative arts have active throat chakras. To activate the chakra, use your voice in some way. Sing, chant, hum, laugh, make some noise. Energizing the chakra helps you speak your truth in a clear and kind manner, improving your relationships, and increasing your sense of well-being. Okay, Leo, so I need to share this with you. Because as I was reading, as I was reading that energy, you know, what I kept thinking about, right, is this energy of, of love, the affirmation taking us into your reading, right? So for some of you, this, this can be about a, a connection, right, a relationship, right? And for others, you know, I feel like this love energy, what it's maybe representing for you is, is your love, your passion to be able to, to, be able to, to speak your truth. To others and in some way shape or form right by sharing giving of yourself to others you're teaching them and helping them in some way shape or form all right Leo let's get some clarification here uh, first energy that I want to get some clarification on is this uh, throat chakra energy tell us more about the throat chakra help Leo to understand the throat chakra Okay, Leo. So the clarifiers that we have on the throat chakra, here we see the Ace of Pentacles, right? So here we see the beginning, right? This is a tangible be beginning. Coming in as another clarification on that, what is this beginning all about for you, Leo? It's about victory, triumph, and success, right? So I really feel strong for you, Leo, right? I mean, pay close attention to what I just shared with you about opening this specific um, energy chakra for you because when you are able to free yourself up from this blockage what it does is it takes you it creates a beginning for you right and this is a tangible beginning and I feel like this beginning comes in quickly for you right so by tangible beginning it's a beginning that, that is felt and experienced by you and then the energy associated to this beginning is victory and triumph right he's holding out his arms standing on top of this hill ready and willing to receive this victory, right? So some of you, I don't know, with the victory and the triumph, um, you know, it's it's recognition in a lot of ways. So some of you that recognize this throat chakra when you're able to free yourself up from this blockage, you know, and speak your truth, and teach and share with others, right? In some way, you may be receiving some recognition, right? Some acknowledgement. The recognition is always a beautiful thing. All right, tell us more about teach. Beautiful. All right, Leo, here we see your energy coming out again. Yeah, so this is this is your passion. No doubt about, it. you know, your ability to whatever this teaching energy represents to you, you know, if you're if you're a teacher or you're an instructor or you're a professor, maybe you're a spiritual worker, you know, but your ability Right to, to free up this blockage and, and to speak your truth, um, it brings you joy. It brings you tremendous happiness. I mean, arguably, by many, this is the most favorable energy in the tarot set. I feel like, Leo, I feel like for you, especially for Leo, right? Because Leo, you're great at communicating. You're great at speaking your truth, right? Great at, at interacting with others. You know, so a blockage here at the throat chakra for Leo. Um, I feel like that you're an, you're one of those zodiac signs that really recognizes that, that can really 
that you're well aware of that blockage when it when it's in there. All right, Leo, tell us more about teach. Tell us more about teach. Too many energies. All right, Leo, tell us more about teach. Okay, so coming in next, we have the Five of Cups. So it's interesting, Leo. I feel like what we're looking at here is we're looking at we're looking at the past, and then we're all also looking at, at at future energies moving forward when you are able to free yourself from this blockage. You know, we have the Five of Cups here, which is this is a limiting energy. Um, looking at the figure here, right? We have three cups that are tipped over in the water. Tipped over cups represent disappointments, right? Sadness and grief. So this is this is coming in connected to as a clarification for the teach energy. So I don't know. There may have been something something that happened, something that shifted for you as it pertained to your ability, right, to teach and communicate, reach out, uh, and make a difference in the lives of others. Because we have the five of cups here, which, you know, there's there's been some form of of disappointment, right? And I don't know if you were giving a presentation, right, and things things didn't go well, or maybe you've been giving presentations, and I don't even know why I'm coming up with presentations. Maybe you've been giving presentations for a, for a while, but you haven't, you haven't seen a lot of the positive results that you're used to seeing, right? And I feel like that's what's being shown here in the Five of Cups. So with her focus down here on these three cups that are tipped over, she's unable to see these two full cups, right, that are lying, you know, that are behind her. What are these two cups all about for you, Leo? Well, they're about love, right? Whether it's about a, a connection, a relationship, more than anything, I feel like this is about your passion, right? Your passion, right, to really teach and to reach out and to connect with others, right? So working through this energy, taking our focus off of the setbacks, the disappointments, right? And focusing on the sun, right? The brightness, the hope. This is like, this is a fun energy. Um, it's interesting that I'm describing it as a fun energy because uh, I never really do that with this energy. But Leo, I'm saying that for a reason. You know, so I don't know. Whatever this is that, that you're presenting, right, that, that's, that's caused you to feel and take on this Five of Cups energy, maybe this is just about, let, you know, letting all of that go, right? Let go of those, of those results, those setbacks, the disappointments. And kind of move into this, move into this with with no fear, right? Move into it with no fear, and get back to having fun as you're teaching and sharing with others, right? Because this is about having fun, and I feel like that's what this energy is is sharing with you here. All right, Leo, let's continue. Let's ask about darkest fears. Tell us about darkest fears. Help Leo understand what darkest fears is about. Okay, all right, Leo, we've got three energies that came out here. Let me hold them up to you, all right? So darkest fears, we have the two of cups, all right? So this is about a connection, right? Love, uh, it's probably a soulmate connection, right? Showing itself here in the two of cups. Yeah, but I feel like, you know, whatever whatever this is to you, Leo, it means a lot because coming in right next to it, right, we've now graduated from the Two of Cups to the Ten of Cups, right? Ten of Cups is, this is the White House, you know, the picket fence, the beautiful yard, uh, everything manicured and landscape, right? This is bliss. This is a uh, connection coming together between yourself and another person. It probably involves children, right? This because this is like the this is like the collective blissful celebration. Then coming in next to that, we have the chariot card, which represents the energy of cancer. Uh, so you may have cancer in your chart. You may be connected 
to a cancer. It may be a cancer that you're connected to in this darkest fears. But that's interesting because the clarifiers for darkest fears, you know, with the exception of the chariot, um, they're all they're, they're relationship related. Um, so Leo, I don't know if you're, you know, with this chariot card, this is about moving, right? So I don't know, some of you may have a fear of moving away from a connection, right? From this, from this beautiful connection, showing itself in the two of cups and then also, also the 10 of cups. Again, we're looking at, at past energies here. All right, I'm gonna pull another clarifier for you, Leo. Tell us more about darkest fears. Or tell us about the Two of Cups. Why is the Two of Cups showing up? Okay, so we asked about the Two of Cups and here we have the Eight of Swords, right? So we have the Nine of Swords showing itself on your reading as the darkest fears. Eight of Swords, we look at the figure here. She's surrounded by these swords. She appears to be bound, right? She wears a blindfold over her eyes. So some of you may be fearing those things that you're unable to see. Yeah, okay, I've got it now. So what I feel like you're fearing here, Leo, is a change or in a shift in a relationship in your life that matters to you, right? That, that, that means a lot. All right, <clears throat> Leo, let's get some more clarification. Let's ask about the shine energy now. Tell us about shine. Okay, beautiful, nine of pentacles. Coming in next, we have the Page of Wands. So the Page of Wands represents communication, right? Page of Wands is, an, is a fire sign, so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. If so, it'd probably be a younger energy. But here we see this figure and she's sitting underneath this tree next to her dragon. She's singing her song, right? She's playing her tune. So it's representing communication, right? Communication that could be coming into you. And I feel like whatever this communication is, it's coming to you, Leo. I feel like it's good. Right? Because here's, here's the energy that we're getting clarification on, which is the sun, which is, um, yeah, so, and this is just coming to me now. So some of you, Leos, um, as you've been working through, right, some of these, some of these limiting energies, maybe in some way, shape, or form, what the lesson is here for you, Leo, is, is, is it's, it's teaching, the universe teaching you to, to surrender, right? Because I'm really picking up on the surrender energy right here. So it may very well be, Leo, that when you have the ability to surrender, right? Let go of all the attachments, open yourself up to whatever the universe would like to bring to you. That's when this communication comes in. And I think attached to the surrender energy, here we have the Nine of Pentacles, which is a great energy. It's a very independent energy. It's being independently successful. All right, Leo, tell us more. Tell us more. We're getting clarification now on awaiting results. Okay, all right, Leo. So we have two energies coming up and this is where we're getting clarification. Clarification right, on awaiting results, right? So this is about you planting the seeds, doing the work, right? And now, now you're, you're waiting for the results to come in. So we have the Four of Cups, which is a limiting energy, representing the energy of being bored, right? So two energies coming up here on awaiting results. It's just opposite of, of the Four of Cups with this Eight of Pentacles, right? So here we have the energy of, of being bored, right? A little dissatisfied. Um, and right next to it, we have 
just the opposite energy, which this is encouraging you to get busy, right? Get busy, get focused on what it is you do. Get focused on your trade, on your craft, on your job, your work, right? It's a work-related energy. So stepping away from this energy as you're waiting results and instead directing your energies towards staying busy, right? Staying busy and staying productive. Makes a lot of sense to me, Leo. All right, tell us about dreams coming true. Tell us about dreams coming true. Dreams coming true for Leo. Okay, Leo. So coming in next is a clarifier for dreams coming true. We have the five of swords. All right, so we have the five of swords here. Um, I'm thinking we had the five of cups earlier. Yeah, we did. We have, and so we had the five of cups and, and the five of swords. These are, these are limiting energies. So this is about, well, it's representing the energy of feeling like you were stabbed in the back, right? Of, of somebody turning their back on you, right? We have these two swords that are impaled on her back and her assailant is kind of making his getaway, looking over his shoulder, peering at his handiwork. So, yeah, some of you may have felt that, right? You may have felt like, yeah, I was, I was, I was in the zone, right? I was on the rail and I was moving towards manifesting all of my hopes and dreams. And then, wow, I got the news, right? Discouraging sadness, grief, disappointment connected to your dreams. Six of Cups is an energy representing an energy from the past, right? So Leo, this 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 may this energy, whatever this was that happened, right, may very well have happened to you from somebody from your past, right, with the Six of Cups here. And it rocked you. Yeah. It uh, I feel that. I feel like it uh, Whatever that, whatever this news was, you know this this communication, I, Leo. I feel like it, it rocked you. It rocked your world. It's like somebody just pulled the rug out from underneath you. Because in your mind, I mean, it meant it meant a lot. Because this is all about a connection. It's all about your dreams coming true. You know, feeling like, oh, I'm on course. All right. Now it leads us to share the love. Tell us about share the love. Okay, Leo. So this is the energy that we're asking about. Share the love. Right? So this is about getting out, putting yourself out there, right? So maybe you're reaching out, you're connecting, you're meeting new people. And I know that's a little bit challenging right now with everything that's happening with quarantining and such, right? But there's still ways for us to reach out and to connect with others, right? Texting, emails, you know, FaceTiming, Snapchatting. But Leo, coming in as clarifiers, right? When you when so this is this is about taking action. Right? It's coming in right next to judgment, right? And judgment is about taking a stand, right? It's a it's a call to action, if you will. Right? So Leo, you have a call to action, right? To forget about whatever's happened here in the past and to reach out and connect with others. And that's probably exactly why, right, we need to open up this blockage here found in your throat chakra. But when you do that, here we have the Eight of Wands, which this is a beautiful energy. This is speed and movement, right? Speed and movement. So when, Leo, you have the ability to reach out, connect with others, right? Open yourself up. What comes in quickly? Oh, I know, here we have it. Here we have the Lover's Card, right? So this is about a connection. This is a soulmate connection. So Leo, you may very well find, right, with whatever has happened here in the past, um, I mean, at the end of the day, we know that love matters to you. We know that relationships and connection matter, right? Because we have it here uh, coming out with a love affirmation. And we know that as well because here we have the Two of Cups. And here we have the Ten of Cups, right? So there's been some changes. 
maybe in your relationships uh, or in your in a significant relationship in your life uh, yeah things have things have changed right the chariot brought in changes the white horse and the black horse representing duality the yin and the yang the masculine and the feminine it's the the balance of both of these energies being balanced together that's what brings about the change in the movement so it could have been this fear in some way, shape, or form that, that maybe caused this chariot, right, to come in, right, to, to, to make a shift, to make a change. But Leo, have no fear, right, because change comes in for you quickly and it's bringing you a soulmate. It's bringing you this connection, um, whether it's a person or whether it's connected to this, this opportunity, right, that this... This passion of yours, right? It's this passion to share and to teach others. All right, tell us more about Blossom. Okay, Leo. So this is where we're getting clarification. So this is equivalent to the judgment card. This is a call of action, right? Here she is building up her energy. She's getting ready. She's building up this energy and she's getting ready to take it and put it out there and share it with the others, right? Share it in a way that maybe teaches and informs others. Coming in as clarifiers on that, here we have the Seven of Swords. Right? So the Seven of Swords is, it represents the energy of, of, it's kind of going through the motions. You know, we have this figure, he's bending down to pick up these two swords. In the meantime, his other five swords are flying above his head. You know, so it can represent the energy of really not knowing what direction to go. Right? It can cause quite a bit of quite a bit of confusion. And it's like, ah, I've been wasting my energy chasing these swords around. I don't want to do that anymore. Instead, what I want to do is I want to get my balance. I want to get my balance shown here in the Two of Pentacles, right? Balancing mind, body, and spirit. Is this nymph as she's holding these pentacles on the ends of her arms? She's doing a pretty amazing job. All right, Leo. Tell us more. Tell us a little more about this clarity of belief. What is clarity of belief doing here? Okay, Leo. So this is the energy that we're getting clarification on. You know, clarity of belief. You know, and I'm just looking at this card, right? He's holding his hand on his heart, right? And Leo, he's doing that for a reason. Um, you know, because I feel like at the end of the day, some of you may very well have experienced some heartbreak here. You may have experienced some heartbreak as it pertains, right, to a relationship, to a connection in your life. But this is about a beginning, right? This is what's coming next. Yeah, it's like, it's like he's holding his heart, right? Because his heart's been hurt. And he's holding out his arm in kind of like a surrendering way. And he's, he's releasing a butterfly. All right, so some of you may, you may be coming from a broken heart, right? Whether it was relationship related, right? I mean, regardless, we know that it, Leo, it was connected to your dreams. You know, you were on your way to, to manifesting all of your hopes and dreams. But here we have the Six of Swords coming out as a clarifier on clarity of belief. Six of Swords is about laying down the swords, turning your back, and walking the other direction. Right? So you're walking away from the past. These swords represent heartbreak, sadness, grief, disappointment. Right. So you're turning your back on the sadness and the grief and the disappointments, and now you're walking a new direction. You're walking a new direction towards a brand new beginning. And what does this beginning look like for you, Leo? just showed itself as the Ten of Pentacles, right? So this beginning for you is a very abundant beginning, right? Whether that means an abundance of love, of connection, of success and finances, maybe maybe it's just an abundance of experience and it, it's an abundance of, well, it's an abundance of happiness and bliss for you, Leo. Wow, okay, Leo, I love your tarot reading. Uh, I hope that this re this reading resonates with all of you. Um, keep in mind, it's not going to resonate with every Leo, but it will will resonate with many of you. 
Uh, if your Leo in this reading does not resonate, be sure to check the readings for your moon rising or your Venus signs as well, because you may find at any given time, those energies may resonate more so with you. All right. Well, Leo, it's been a pleasure to share this reading with you. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you for the likes, the subscribes, and the shares. And by the way, if you're new to the channel, you like this video, you like my energy, give me a like if you would and, and subscribe. I right? love to build the channel, love to connect and bring our soul families, soul family members together. Uh, if you're interested in ordering a personal tarot reading, just send me an email. My email address is found below in the description. It's tarotloveandabundance at gmail. And I want to just thank all of you for the beautiful donations that many of you have made towards the channel. Your donations make a difference, right? That's what keeps the lights on and that's what keeps things going here. So thank you so much. Okay, Leo, you have a very exciting May to look forward to. All kinds of changes and shifts, but they're good positive changes, right? Things are looking brighter for you. Okay, Leo, have a great night.